the book of Ecclesiastes I do not know if it ought to be in the Bible if the Bible is God's Word now if it's not God's Word well then it doesn't really matter what what's in the Bible the writer of Ecclesiastes who claims to be Solomon was according to the Bible the wisest man to ever live he was given this wisdom by God when he inherited his kingship over Israel from his father David Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2 this is what the man had to say the greatest vanity everything is vanity kind of depressing the whole books kind of depressing so anyway statements like that about vanity are peppered throughout the entire book of Ecclesiastes from beginning to end but in between these statements are what seem to be realizations that the writer had at different points in his life but it seems that he's reflecting on how empty all of his pursuits uh, had become. So moving on to Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9, here is what the man had to say. That which has come to be, that is what will come to be. And that which has been done, that is what will be done. And so, there is nothing new under the sun. Again, kind of depressing. Ecclesiastes 1.13 says, And I set my heart to seek and explore wisdom in relation to everything that has been done under the heavens, the calamitous occupation that God has given to the sons of mankind in which to be occupied. Again, depressing. Ecclesiastes 1.17 And I proceeded to give my heart to knowing wisdom and to knowing madness. And I have come to know folly that this too is a striving after wind. So here we have the wisest man ever to live, given his wisdom directly by Jehovah God, and he came to know madness and folly. But if you're already wise, why would you need to come to know these things? Why would you need to experience them? That is what wisdom is, isn't it? In the very next verse, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 18, he says, For in the abundance of wisdom there is an abundance of vexation, so that he that increases knowledge increases pain. Again, if he came to know madness and folly, and he did whatever his heart desired, um, that's what increased his pain. <laughs> wisdom protects you from pain. Ecclesiastes 2.8 I accumulated also silver and gold for myself, and property peculiar to kings, a lady, even ladies. And as you may know, uh, in 1 Kings 11, chapter, uh, chapter 11, verse 3, uh, it says that Solomon did indeed have ladies. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. That's insane. Talk about... Uh, by the time you get to the second chapter of Ecclesiastes, uh, Solomon's telling us that he's already given his heart to folly and madness. Also now he's got <laughs> multiple wives. I mean, that's sick. I've been here and I've been there.